Welcome to the New Song Cafe here at worshiptogether.com. Today we're here with Joel and Jad from Hillsong Worship sharing the song No Other Name. So sit back and enjoy this New Song Cafe. Joel and Jad, great to see you guys. Good man. to see you, man. Thanks, man. Man, I love this song. Uh, it came out of conference mm -hmm. uh, called No Other Name. And um, it's always interesting. I know that at Hillsong there's, there's messages that inspire songs and there's songs that inspire messages. Yeah. And, um, and this song ended up being something that kind of took the church a bit on a journey as well from conference. But talk about this song and just this compelling idea um, of the name of Jesus and the power that's in that. Yeah, I mean, look, I think you, you, you just said it. I think there's no other name like the name of Jesus. There really isn't. And um, you know, the interesting thing is I think in our culture, uh, you know, Jesus has become a bit of a dirty word. And even in some aspects of, of uh, religion and Christian culture, you know, we're afraid uh, to use the name of Jesus. We love to talk about the name of God. Um, love to, you know, talk about our Savior and Christ and all those good things that He is, but sometimes uh, we, we steer away from the name of Jesus and the power is in that name. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so, you know, I think we, uh, we framed our conference around just the concept of, of no other name. It was this idea that, um, uh, you know, we live in a world where um, there's a million names in front of us all the time. There's people are promoting all kinds of different things, but uh, there's nothing that compares to the name of Jesus. As a church, we're not here to promote the name of Hillsong. We're not here to promote the name of anything else. We're here uh, to just promote the name of Jesus. And uh, a church can't save people. A song can't save anybody. Uh, even us as Christians, we can't save anybody. The power of the name of Jesus is what saves people. And uh, and we get to be, you know, conduits and vessels of that, and uh, and ultimately that's what our churches need to be about. And so it's a bold song, it's a bold statement, and um, it's gutsy. And I think for us, this song's taken us by surprise because um, we started singing it in church, and just crazy things would happen in our services. And still now, you know, we get to this song, and um, when we sing it, it's like you kind of can feel heaven breaking loose in the place. And I think a lot of it's just got to do with the simplicity of just saying, hey, it's all about Jesus. Yeah. And the thing I love about this song, which is it's common with great worship songs, is there's parts of this song that you can also kind of pull in. Uh, I know I was at a church the other night and, and, and they uh, worship leaders brought the bridge yeah. into kind of like a section of the, yeah. of the service. And, uh, and I love that about this is because there's, there's pieces of this, either the chorus or the bridge, or you can do it all as one long thing, but it's really accessible, really useful mm. and to kind of grab those pieces that are really powerful to kind of pull in. Yeah. I mean, Jad's led this song a lot and uh, I know like we've done it so many different structures, you know, cut out certain verses, started on the third verse, which is quite a triumphant mm -hmm. moment, and then taking it straight into the bridge. You can, mm -hmm. you can do the chorus up or down. So the, rec the recorded version we do is quite a journey. We treat the chorus as two parts, one we build through and then kind of let, let's go. But it also works, the other night we did it, and uh, we just dropped out for the chorus. And uh, it was really sweet, like it was, mm -hmm. I think because it, it is very congregational, and just kind of builds faith and then came in, hit the bridge strong, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, when I, I love to, to, to um, you know, there's a, there's a part in the verses where in the first verse it, it says, his praise resounds beyond, uh, you know, and, uh, and I, I like to step off the mic and let the church sing it because to me it's a part that they really look forward mm. to singing because it's about his praise and then they're bringing high praise and uh, like that kind of stuff's really, yeah. in that song for me it's really kind of, for, yeah. it's kind of fulfilling in it. Yeah. The verse has two parts, you know, so it's, um, and funnily enough, like, um, I, I can't sing the second half of the verse. It's too high for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can do it in, we, do, we play it in G, but, um, you know, I, I'll lead it in E and I'm fine, you yeah. know, <laughs> but um, it, it's kind of worked out well because I just was like, well, maybe I don't need to sing the up part um, yeah. in the verse and Jad, so we kind of sang it like a duet, which worked really yeah. kind of interesting. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to do it that way, but. Um, yeah, but the cool thing is now, like you just, I just sing the first part and I sit back and then the church takes the, yeah. the up bit and it's kind of a nice moment. And if you don't have a Jad in your church, you can just get one of the girls to sing. Exactly, right. yeah. <laughs> or do it in E. Totally. <laughs> just pull it back a little bit That's to right. a more. Yeah. Well, you guys play it for us. Yeah, okay. What? 
I love that. You're in the key of G, yeah. right? And I love how the guitar part, especially on the recording as well, like it, it just follows that melody line. You yeah. know, all the nice little yeah, the uh, voicings guitar there. voicings are really great. But kind of walk us through what you're playing there. Pretty simple chords yeah. overall. They're actually really simple chords. I'll show you two ways because the motive is kind of nice. It's just it's like a D on F sharp. So, it's, um, so I'm, I'm kind of playing these open strings that kind of carry the melodies. So it's kind of just running like F sharp, G, kind of A minor, G. It's kind of running down. So it does that twice. So that's A, G, D, F sharp, E minor. And the second half, it kind of runs up from the low to C. B, C, D, C, B. So back to the minor. So that's kind of, I mean, yeah. you can kind of see what happens, it's just kind of floating with the melody. Mm -hmm. But if you want to just play it really straight, you can. You could just, uh, so D on F sharp, G. Just hold the G to the minor. Just go to the four, the C. E minor to the G. So it's really simple. So yeah. you just you don't have to do the the um, 
the, the follow the melody thing unless you want to. It yeah. works really nice actually just to play the, the chords. Yeah. yeah, and then kind of walk us into the chorus there. So starting on the one. So the chorus is uh, G. E minor. G on B. C. G minor. Back to C. So it does that twice. And then, uh, and then going into the chorus, I mean, we like to drop out and we just kind of build a bit of time on the one, which is always really nice. At the end of the chorus, yeah. um, Jesus Christ, our God, oh Jesus. And we just kind of sit, just pedal that, yeah. build lots of anticipation and then just kind of fall into the bridge. But you can also just float straight in like we did on that recording yeah, there, yeah. so. But um, yeah, the bridge is just really simple. It's just uh, G. We'll shake, e minor. So from there you can go anywhere, yeah. you can choose your Absolutely. own uh, adventure, so to speak. <laughs> choose your ending. Yeah. <laughs> well guys, thanks so much for coming by and yeah, sharing it with us. It's great cool. to see you. Thank you. Yeah.